I decided to leave the stability of my nine to five job so I could pursue my passion of photography. I had just gone through a divorce, so I was really stuck in this rut. I needed to see the world. Yeah, when you have kids, you're thinking a lot about where you came from. There's this 50% blank slate of unknown in my life, and trying to close that and fill in some of the details is an important part of self-discovery. Last summer, I was out with a friend who was just receiving his results from 23andMe. So I went home that night and I ordered a test, really just because I wanted to know my ancestry. It was very early days when 23andMe first hit the market that I signed up for the service to find out what I could about myself. I was totally excited when I got the email uh, from 23andMe titled, your results are in. I looked at all my ancestry for a good 30 minutes before I even flipped over to the DNA relatives tab. And on the top of the list was a 20% match, which ended up being my half brother. I wasn't sure if he'd want to hear from me, but I decided it was just too important and that I had to contact him. I was sound asleep and my phone was on the nightstand and I get a message. I say to my wife, I'm like, I have a sister. I was overwhelmed. It was a confluence of emotions. Of course, that entire time I'm just sitting there thinking about, are we going to connect? Are we going to be able to have a relationship? Does she want a brother? From the time I found out about Jason to messaging him to actually talking to him was probably the span of maybe 30 minutes. That night, we had like a three-hour phone conversation, just talked about everything we could possibly think about. We immediately decided we wanted to meet each other, so Seattle became my new destination. During that time, we were in constant communication, texting, and phone calls. It felt like we were instantly on the same page. We're asking about if our second toe's bigger than our first toe, about just everything. It was a life-changing time for me and it was a time when he could help me discover who I was becoming. It turns out our stories were fairly similar. Our mothers used the same doctor, the same obstetrician. I always knew that my parents had used a sperm donor, but it never even occurred to me that there could be siblings. It was crazy that we were so close so quick. I mean, it's a new family member. She's an aunt to my children and a friend to my wife. While she was in Seattle, we wanted to make sure she had the opportunity to see the sights, and so she and I hit the town. We were about to call it a night. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning. We literally just stopped in front of this tattoo shop. She suggested a double helix, and I immediately realized that was the perfect tattoo to get. Not the best artwork, but... Uh... Don't regret the story, though. You think it will fit? Oh, you're going to make me run for it, aren't you, James? I feel grateful that this was a very auspicious time for us to meet because I was going through so much in my life and he was going through so much as well. We were able to bond on a, on a different level. I have a wonderful family, but I've now doubled the number of people I'm related to and they're all amazing.